They're in love! My brother is reading Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I'm so excited, even though he hasn't started from the beginning. But, yeah. He knows what happens in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince pretty much since he saw the movie with me last month. Since no one would go with me because I don't have anyone to go with to see the movie besides myself. But I didn't want to do that. He did, me and him, I have a connection now, an uh, even deeper connection because of Harry Potter. I've gotten some new stuff uh, last week. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is new too. So there's a lighter and there's Kit with his little um sword. I don't know what you call him. OMG, are you ready to see like the cutest purse in the world? It is by Kathy Van Leland and it is amazing. I got it at TJ Maxx for $40. It's the most expensive purse I've ever bought. It was like really like 80. So go Ross and TJ Maxx. I know, you're jealous. I also got um, this button. I found this for six dollars. Um, some of you fans will know what I'm saying. That's right, nubs. I got enchanted unicorn bandages. Yeah. Came with a free toy inside of Cupid, and I thought it was gonna be like a unicorn, so I was really excited. I was like, unicorn power. <laughs> unicorn power. He. In honor of going bovine. This is Moo Moo Duck. Moo Duck. I got this. It's an iPod player. You just slip your little iPod right there. It was $13 at TJ Maxx. It's got this little box from a fair trade company. It was $4. I like it short. Anyone want a coverless Breaking Dawn? I burnt the cover. I was debating whether or not I should burn the book. I don't know. Maybe I should do it like Harry Potter style. Comment. Hello, Joyce. So, I'm pretty much taking off a year, and then I'm going to go to college. Uh, I might do fashion merchandising or photography. I can't really decide. I would also really like to do some of the acting, maybe. Maybe, like, get a minor in acting and a major, like, in fashion merchandising or photography. I'm going to vlog weekly from now on. I want to do a segment called Nubtastic Things that I like, and I'm going to do three of them. Um, you might have heard of them. Some of you probably haven't. Links will be in sidebar. First thing that is Nubtastic is a very amazing singer, a friend of mine. I met her over the internet. Her name is Dana Benedict, and she has some amazing, amazing songs. Uh, my favorite of hers right now is Cageless Bird, which is her latest song. I also like Broken and Rise Above and At Water's Edge. Incredible songs. Her soul pours out of them, and her voice is just so, like unique and view and she needs more subscribers so go subscribe and listen to her videos and favorite them comment them rate them everything just listen to her music dude spread the word fantastic thing too let lumos holy crap even if you aren't a harry potter fan you will love this band i'm telling you you will love this band they just came out with their first song a few weeks ago it's called house grown with ivy it's amazing incredibly amazing hi jay do you want to go away? Ugh. I can't even begin to tell you how much I love the songs. The songs are so beautiful. Britney's voice, incredible. The lyrics, I mean, I just, I, I found myself having a whole new perspective on Merope and Tom Riddle, uh, Petunia and Lillian James, like, it was amazing. Like, their songs have never touched me more than anything and you know I I, re I request them even to non Harry Potter fans because it's just listen seriously listen to them oh wow amazing also listen to Britney's aka Heart Crooks's cover of Sanctuary it's I'll put it in the sidebar it's incredible my third nubtastic thing is MyLifeIsAverage.com I know only if you would like to, please subscribe. But do comment and rate this video 5 stars. Comment this video 5 stars. Peace out, and nubs. Unicorn power.